Here's something I've been thinking about building for a while. No, the coronavirus didn't make me build it. Uh, I wanted to build a sterilizer for phones and iPads and tablets and whatever, but the ones online are really expensive, or if you buy one for like a beauty store for like combs, the reviews are really bad and they don't last very long, so I thought there can't be much to it. So I bought this replacement bulb. It's for a fish tank. Uh, UV filter. This quit's falling over. And of course this box isn't permanent. It's just a proof of concept. And I had a drop light. And I cut it up. Here's a picture of one. And I used the ballast transformer thinger jigger inside here. And the switch. And then I just put a wire in the end. Because the wire was super long on the original one just to have a nice convenient place to mount it all and of course when I build a box or I don't know I thought about using an old vintage bread box or something so a couple zip ties aluminum tape just to help reflect the light around and it does get a little warm so of course this box is definitely not a permanent thing uh, online I saw a few different places that sell these with a similar wattage bulb this is 13 watts by the way I'll put links in the description but they said uh, about anywhere from 10 to 60 seconds to sanitize your item. So yeah, like I said, got it plugged in, flipped the switch, I got a little peephole here to see if it's on, because of course this light, don't look at it very long, it'll hurt your eyes. And I guess prolonged contact, or uh, contact, whatever, with your skin, it'd be like a sunburn, but flip it on. There you can see it's on. My phone will filter it, right? Yep. There you go. Nice and bright in there. Reflect a little bit. I need to put some more tape in there if I use it. But there you go. Hope it gives you some ideas. No reason to spend 150 bucks for junk. Uh, I already had the drop light and knew they were about 15 to 20 bucks at your big box store. And then, like I said, the bulb was 10 bucks. And then I had this cord laying around. So, you know, even if you had to buy a cord, they're like six, eight bucks online. So I hope it gives you an idea. I hope it gives you something to work with. And, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, one quick thing. Make sure you look and see what bulb this has so you can get the correct bulb fitting if you just want to plug it in. Like I said, I cut the end of mine off, but it just plugs in. I just put electrical tape on it to shield it. Uh, eventually, I want to get a plastic socketed base. I'll put a link for that too. I have one, but uh, I haven't used it yet. But anyways, hope it gives you some ideas and uh, happy inventing.